Tonight we're learning thousands of emails have been sent to city officials about a proposed warehouse project off of Range Line Road. It's in Councilman Ben Reynolds district. He has been speaking out against giving developers taxpayer funded incentives for this project in part because of the wetlands that will be impacted. And there are concerns that more near Rabbit Creek will be filled in than previously thought. We think this whole area outlined in white is important to protect in a conservation easement. Mobile Bay Keeper Kate Kistler points out the acres of wetlands in the Dog River watershed. His environmental watchdog group is concerned could soon be lost. As you fill in wetlands, you lose their ability to filter out pollution like sediment um, and other runoff. You lose their ability to prevent flooding. And so as we lose these wetlands, we have impacts on the whole watershed. In March, Scannell Properties submitted an application to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to fill in 86.9 acres of wetlands. The application states the warehouse project will be built in two phases. This is the map submitted in its application. But prior to submitting this, in October of 2022, this is the map for the project submitted to planning and zoning, showing additional phases that Kistler says would impact even more wetlands. The wetlands that they're looking to fill to begin with are the higher quality wetlands and that's a common tactic we see where you say, hey, we want to fill these higher quality ones and then if you can get the permission for that, it makes it easier to come back later and fill the others on site too. So you can say, oh, all that's left is low quality wetlands and they're surrounded by industry. But of course, if the full project design was out there from the beginning, that might have changed the calculus. So which one is it? Is it? Are you going to only do a very small portion of the project after you get the taxpayer's money? Or are you going to do the whole project and create thousands of jobs? You can't have it both ways. Councilman Ben Reynolds says he will not approve millions in taxpayer funded incentives for the project and wants the wetlands along Rabbit Creek put into a conservation easement so they're protected. He's been publicly sounding the alarm about this proposed project for weeks. Well, our citizens are starting to speak up. Uh, I've, I've got confirmation that there's been nearly 3,000 emails from people in the city of Mobile against this project. Mm -hmm. So who, who should our leaders listen to? Mm -hmm. The Chicago bully company, billion dollar company coming down here and imposing its will, or the citizens that we're here to represent? An incentive package for this project has not come up for a city council vote. The Mobile Chamber told us it cannot comment on ongoing economic development projects.